hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel today we are diving into something super exciting we are going behind the scenes of a mega construction project right here in ghana have you ever wondered what it takes to bring those massive buildings and infrastructure to life well today i'm going to take you on a journey through the planning design and execution phases of these incredible projects we'll explore examples like the kumasi international airport expansion the Accra Temamoto Way Upgrade and the impressive Bui Dam, which provides renewable energy for the country. We'll also look at the rehabilitation of the Western Railway Line, enhancing transportation and trade, and the ambitious National Cathedral of Ghana, a monumental project that will serve as a national landmark. So stick around as we explore the teamwork and expertise that go into creating Ghana's architectural marvels. Trust me, you won't want to miss the incredible stories and insights we have in store for you. Let's get started. So number one is the Kumasi International Airport. So the Kumasi International Airport is currently undergoing a major expansion, which has been executed by a consortium of contractors including the China Civil Engineering Construction Corporation and local firms. This project aims to enhance the airport's capacity and facilities, allowing it to handle more passengers and larger aircrafts. There, there have been various rumors surrounding the project, particularly regarding delays in construction and budget overruns. Some local residents have expressed concerns about the environmental impact of the expansion, questioning how it might affect the surrounding areas. Despite these rumors, the government remains committed to ensuring the project is completed on time, as it is seen as a vital for boosting both tourism and trade in the Ashanti region. The successful completion of the expansion will significantly contribute to the region's economic development and connectivity. So number two is the Accra Temamoto Way expansion. Now the Accra Temamoto Way expansion is a major infrastructure project aimed at improving the road capacity and efficiency. The project has been awarded to a consortium of contractors including local firms as well as international partners with the estimated cost of around 200 million US dollars. The expansion will involve adding extra lanes, upgrading interchanges, and enhancing road safety features to better accommodate the increasing traffic between Accra and Tema. This upgrade is essential for reducing congestion and improving travel times for commuters and commercial vehicles alike. The government of Ghana is focused on completing this project promptly as it is a crucial for enhancing trade and transportation efficiency in the greater Accra region. Once completed, the expanded motorway will significantly benefit economic activities in that area. So number three is the Bui Dam. Now the Bui Dam is a significant hydroelectric project located on the Black Volta River in Ghana. The construction of the dam was awarded to a consortium led by Sino Hydro Corporation, a Chinese company, and the total cost of the project was approximately 622 million US dollars. So the Bui Dam has a capacity of 400 megawatts and plays a crucial role in providing electricity. It plays a crucial role in providing electricity to the national grid, helping to address the energy needs of Ghana. In addition to power generation, the project also aims to enhance irrigation and support local agriculture contributing to economic development in the region. The dam was officially commissioned in 2013 and continues to be a vital asset for energy production and water management in Ghana. Number four, we have the rehabilitation of the Western Railway Line. 
Now, the rehabilitation of the Western Railway Line is a key infrastructure project aimed at restoring and upgrading the railway network in Ghana. The project was awarded to a consortium that includes local and international contractors with an estimated cost of around 300 million US dollars. The rehabilitation work focuses on upgrading the existing tracks overall service quality to facilitate efficient transportation of goods and passengers. The project is essential for boosting trade and economic activities in the western region and beyond, as it will provide a reliable alternative to road transport. The government of Ghana is committed to completing the rehabilitation in a timely manner, as it is vital for enhancing connectivity and supporting regional development. The fifth mega project happening right now is the, is the construction of the National Cathedral. Now, on this, on this topic is, is quite dicey, so we'll leave it for another day. And if you know you've not subscribed yet, please do so by clicking on the subscription and turn on notification. So we'll meet again. Bye.